Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and in these final days before the great Feast of Pentecost, the Church continues to celebrate Easter by giving us readings from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John. In the first reading at Mass today, Paul says goodbye to some of his disciples who, it says, were deeply distressed because Paul said that they would never see his face again. And in the Gospel from John chapter 17, Jesus also says goodbye to his disciples. And as he does so, he gives them a very consoling word. It's a word that Jesus speaks to his heavenly Father, praying in these words, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me. Consecrate them in the truth. In another passage in this part of John's Gospel, Jesus told his disciples that he was praying not only for them, but for all who would hear his words through them. That's us. We too have been given the holy name of God the Father. Jesus told us to pray, calling God our Father. And this is not just a matter of name games, but the reality, the truth. This is the truth that each of us was consecrated into at our baptism. There, the Father of Jesus made us his own children so that we really could pray to God as our Father, the way Jesus did. There, at baptism, each of us was consecrated with sacred chrism, the same perfumed oil that is used to consecrate new churches and altars and the hands of the newly ordained priest. In our gospel, Jesus also said that he wanted us to share his joy completely. The more we appreciate the truth of who we are, God's beloved children, the more our joy will increase.